we've got the Xtool D8 wired. I'll be running you through the different functionality so that you can decide what's the best tool for you. Now, this is the wired version of the D8. The reason I chose the D8 wired is because the Bluetooth version does not allow you to connect via wire, which means three, four years from now, even if you're within warranty, when the battery is weak and it craps out on you eventually, you'll no longer be able to use that Bluetooth functionality for extended periods of time. Having a wire and always connected to power is the best method. If you're planning on keeping this tool for six, seven years, well, as you know, just like your iPhones and any other tablet, the battery eventually does die. So having that option of connecting to the OBD and getting power through that source is a better option for you. When connected to Wi-Fi, the updates are as simple as clicking updates and hitting update all. I generally have an update every single day for some sort of module or some vehicle manufacturer. Keep in mind, Xtool does give you three years of free updates after which you do have to pay for it. Not much to see within the settings tab. It gives you your language, your units, and your, your firmware information. Other than that, not much exciting. The More tab has the Xtool website link and an endoscope function. Should you purchase that as an additional accessory, this is where you'd come to activate it. Should you need support from Xtool remotely, you can hit here and it brings you to a separate application called TeamViewer where Xtool can link to your tablet directly and take control. Once you've done your scanning and you've generated a report, it saves in this function here. So you'll go to diagnosis, diagnosis report, and I can look at a previous report uh, and see all the uh, faults that I had previously. Let's get into the good stuff. So special functions, lots of special functions with the Xtool D8. I'll go a little bit slow here. You can pause your video so you can see the different functions. Now keep in mind, not all vehicles or manufacturers are compatible with these special functions. If you have something specific that you're looking for, I suggest reaching out to Xtool directly and they'll be able to tell you whether or not it can support your vehicle. Most vehicles will support the basic functionality like oil reset, throttle body calibration, electronic parking brake. You can do a little bit of key programming with some vehicles I've used it on a Jeep, I've used it on Dodge, Chrysler. Um, you've got the BMS reset to relearn or reconfigure the battery when you've changed it, mostly on European vehicles. Instrument cluster allows you to do odometer correction. Now I don't suggest you do that, but it is there. You can do a little bit of a headlight uh, special function. That means, you know, testing the headlights, the low beams, high beams, turn signals, that sort of thing. Window initialization, stop start button. So you've got the various special functions, but again, they don't work on all vehicles. Now let's compare and contrast the D8 versus the D9 Pro. So you'll see that these are the various special functions available. The difference between the D8 and the D9 Pro is the D8 does not do AdBlue Reset, Knock Sensor Reset, VIN Writing, and lastly, it doesn't do Odometer Read. And by that, it means if you're looking for the genuine odometer number or the genuine odometer value. So if someone has done a correction on the vehicle, this will actually pull the odometer value from the ECU so you know exactly what that reading is. The other thing we need to compare is the ECU coding. On the D8, you can do ECU coding like flashing hidden functions, comfort mode, opening the windows using your keys. That's available on VW, Skoda, and Audi. Now, if we move over to the D9, that's expanded to VW, Skoda, Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Mazda, and Ford. So with the D9, you get a little bit more functionality for ECU coding. And again, this is strictly for flashing hidden functions. It does not allow you to do ECU coding for brand new and blank modules. You've got two options to do a scan, diagnosis and auto scan. For most vehicles, you can hit auto scan. 
that's when it'll automatically detect the VIN number and the vehicle's make and model. Now, in some circumstances, it can't read the vehicle make and model. And what happens is it'll sit here saying connecting and scanning, and it'll probably do this for almost five minutes to finally tell you that it can't read the VIN and you need to input manually. This is one downside to the Xtool D8, and I believe the D9 as well, is that it doesn't detect right away. So instead you have to sit here for minutes waiting for it to tell you. Even if you hit the back button, nothing actually happens. You're stuck here waiting. So you can either reboot the device or wait the five minutes for it to tell you. Now, if you wanna go in manually, you can hit diagnosis and you'll have a list of vehicles classified at the top, Europe, Asia, America, China, Australia. Pick your vehicle, let's do Porsche. And in here, you're given automatic detection or manual selection. So again, it can automatically detect your VIN number. Now, should your vehicle not support that, you can hit manual selection, pick the vehicle. Let's go Cayenne 2011. Yes. And you're presented with three options. An automatic diagnosis. That's if you're doing a general scan of all the modules looking for whatever fault codes come up or you can do system diagnosis or diagnostics and you can go into the separate modules. Now, keep in mind, although all of these modules are presented to you, not all of them are supported by the vehicle. For example, on the Porsche Cayenne, if we look at the all wheel drive PTM system, it doesn't work on the D8, it's not supported. Although it is here, it's not supported. You also have special functions and in here you're presented with six options. Now, we know that the Xtool D8 has many special functions, but on the Cayenne, these are the only six that are supported. It is a little bit deceiving, however. On the D8, it presents you six options for the Porsche Cayenne. However, if you go back to your main page and if I'm connected to the vehicle and I go through special functions, let's say I click on battery reset. This actually does work on the Cayenne. However, it wasn't presented to me when I went into the vehicle itself. There is an issue with the D8 and I find that all the menus seem to be created by separate engineers or separate techies where there's a complete disconnect between what's available on this page and actually being supported by the vehicle and what's available within the vehicle it's scanning itself like if you go in the other way through the manual mode there is definitely a disconnect in some cases you're not presented with options that are available for your vehicle so if you have a d8 or are purchasing a d8 keep that in mind if you can't find a specific function once you go into the actual vehicle try doing it through here you may have a better chance it is a standard tablet, Android tablet, one that you're probably already used to. You've got applications and you can customize it with your own background. And you've got your volume buttons and anything else that you would find on an Android tablet. Keep in mind, this is an older version of Android. I believe it's Android 5.0. Some of the newer tablets like the D9 and the Launch X431, they're running Android 9. So definitely a little bit more efficient. This is an older one, but still very fast and works great. Overall, the Xtool D8 Wired is an excellent choice for the DIYer or the automotive garage. I recommend again the Wired version because if you're planning on keeping this tool long-term, you always want power and you never want it to crap out on you.